Hey guys, welcome back to placement.org. Today we are solving the problem longest decreasing subsequence. It was also asked in an interview of Amazon. This question is somewhat similar to the longest increasing subsequence problem where we had to find the length of the longest increasing subsequence. Here we have to find the length of the longest decreasing subsequence. Alright. So here in the description they have just mentioned that what we have to do basically and as you know what is longest decreasing subsequence subsequent means that element uh, can be and even cannot be in uh, consequent like this can be even uh, close to each other subsequent to each other or they cannot be subsequent to each other all right so i will explain you with the help of an example <coughs> So let's consider this array. Alright. And in this array, I have to find the longest decreasing subsequence. So what is the decreasing subsequence? Now let's consider the number 8. Now after 8, number 4. So 8 is greater than 4. Means 8 occurs first and then the 4. So in this way, I have to search all the elements like longest possible list which i can create so after 4 now i cannot take 12 as 4 is less than 12 so i can take 2 after 2 i can take 1 after 1 i cannot take any element so 8 4 2 and 1 as you can see all the elements are decreasing over here so this is called as longest sorry decreasing subsequence we are not sure that is this the longest or what but this is a sub, uh, decreasing subsequent. So now we have to find the length of the longest decreasing subsequence. So in this case, the over here the length is four. Or if we consider any other element, okay. Now let's say check to for twelve. Okay, after twelve we can take ten. We can take six. We can take five. Then we can take three. So what's the length? 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. 12, 10, 6, 5, and 3. Alright. So this is the longest decreasing subsequence of length 5. After this, you cannot find any other subsequence which is having a greater length than 5. Although you have an alternate subsequence of uh, length 5. That will be instead of 6, if we replace 6 by 9. Alright, if you replace 6 by 9 over here, then also it will work. So, these are the two subsequence which we get. <coughs> so, now you guys might have understood that what is uh, decreasing subsequence. So, now how to calculate it? So, for doing this, we have two methods. One is the recursion, which uh, will, you know, exceed the time complexity and which not, should not be acceptable in an interview. So we'll be looking at the memorization technique. So in memorization technique, there is a simple concept that what we'll do, like suppose if I am at this pointer, I will compare with all the elements before it. And whatever elements are greater than that. Okay. Because I am uh, decreasing subsequence. So in this case, there is no element greater. So I will move and I will come here. Right, and I'll compare in this slot. So, what elements are greater than 2? There is 8, 4, and 12. So, I'll have a comparison with them. Okay, and if there are values, I mean, I'll create a separate array. And in, in that array, if the value is greater than for this array, then only I will replace it. So, in this way, our function goes. And what this array is storing. This array is storing, like suppose I am at this element, and if I am at this index, then what will be the length of the longest decreasing subsequence? Alright, if I am at this index, and if I come here, and what will be the length if I am at this index? Similarly, what will be the length if I am at this index? So, this is how things goes. So, now I will show you the code for this. If you guys have any doubt in the intuition, you can mention on in the comment box 
I will clarify our doubts over there. Now jumping to the intuition, what we have done is I have written down the same array over here, which I explained it to you guys, and then I have created a function LDS, longest decreasing subsequence. <coughs> and in this subsequence, I have passed the array nums. Now, if the array is null or its length is zero, basically it means that if the array is empty, then obviously I have written the length zero. Otherwise, as I said, I will create another array for the same number of elements. And the first uh, element in that array will be one. Why it will be one? Because uh, let's consider an array this. If this is an array, this e single element is also along with decreasing subsequence so initially my if my array is filled then my initial answer will be one and it will not be zero okay because even a single element is a longest decreasing subsequence it can be considered okay so that's why my initially i filled it with zero then i'm starting from the second index <coughs> and as i said from the starting index to that uh, particular index i'll be comparing if that value is greater and if the length is greater uh, in that particular array which I am creating, then only I will uh, replace my current value over there. Otherwise, I will just increase it, the L of i. And after doing all this, what I will do, I will just find out the maximum from that particular array and return it. So let's see how this code is working. So as you can see, we are getting the output as I mentioned how uh, this answer is coming 5. Now if you guys want to print the longest existing subsequence and you want code for that, please mention in the comment below and I will create a separate video for that and I will post it here. If you guys like the content and understood it, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.